Morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. And it's such a wonderful way to start our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, Glory and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. O come, O oh, alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah, the Lord is risen indeed. O oh, come, let us worship him. Hallelujah. Our psalm today is Psalm 149. Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throats and a two-edged sword in their hand to wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings in change and their nobles with links of iron, to inflict on them the judgment decree. This is glory for all his faithful people. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord, let Israel rejoice in you and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. In your loving kindness, embrace us now that we may proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation with your saints in glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, our reading today continues in Daniel. Just love these stories here in Daniel. In the third chapter, beginning with verse 19. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression of his face was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace heated seven times more than it was when that it was wont to be heated. And he ordered certain mighty men of his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their mantles, their tunics, their hands, uh, hats, and their garments. And they were cast into the burning fiery furnace. Because the king's order was strict and the furnace was very hot, the flame of the fire slew those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell bound into the burning, fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste. He said to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? They answered the king, True, O king. He answered, But I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and in the appearance of the fourth is like the son of the gods. Then Nebuchadnezzar, came near to the door of the burning, fiery furnace and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come forth and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the fire and the satraps, the prefects, the governors, the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not any power over the bodies of these men. The hair on their heads was not singed, their mantles were not harmed, and no smell of fire had come from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants, who trusted in him and set at, at naught the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree. Any people, nations, and language that speaks anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn limb from limb and their houses laid in ruins. For there is no other God who is able to deliver in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. 
And our second reading comes from 1 John, the third chapter, beginning with verse 11. For this is the message which you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another and not be like Cain, who was of evil and have murdered his brother. And who did, and who, and why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not wonder, brethren, that the world hates you. We know that we have, uh, we have passed out of death into life because we love the brethren. He who does not love abides in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love, that he has laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But if any one has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall become the prophet of the Most High, for you will be co be go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alle uh, this, this is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, look upon us with love. You redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. I hope you'll see us tomorrow morning and also our regular worship service tomorrow morning. God bless you. Bye-bye.